just we're going to go ahead and get started. Thank you all for being here. Sorry about the technical difficulties. Sometimes Zoom can be like that. <clears throat> Once you get it down, it's super easy. But we're just going to go ahead and get started. I'm so glad that you're here. I know Jenny is so glad that you're here. And I know she wanted to do a little introduction, but I think we'll just forego that since she is unable to, to be right on. Um, so we, myself and Jenny and uh, Andy here on the call are all a part of something called the Healthy Living Revolution. <clears throat> and this is a movement that is trying to help people take back their health in simple and doable and fun ways. Um, I am so excited that you get to be here and just learn about what is what is going on and just really what simple solution that we have found being a part of this community. So the first thing I wanna share with you um, and hold on just a minute. I've got to start my little slideshow here from the beginning. Okay. And there are two startling trends in our world right now. Wonderful. And the first one is that environmental toxins are on the increase. And so whether this is in the food that you're eating or the, the products that you're putting on your skin or the air you're breathing, or unfortunately, even the water that you're drinking, so. we all know that just environmental toxins are at an all-time high and the load that we carry right now is bar none higher than any other people that have walked the planet ever. So our bodies are trying to constantly detox um, from all of the envi environmental toxins that we are facing. At the same time, our food quality is decreasing. So I like this guy, he's in the middle of the, in the, middle of the grocery store and he's looking at his product, his food, although he is really kind of choosing a food-like product. And so because what so many of the foods that we are buying are not actually food, what we're going to find are in each of these columns. We're going to find preservatives and flavor enhancers. They're going to be genetically modified. They're going to have pesticides, trans fats, and all of those things. And I know for me, when I started to make a shift in my health about probably about 15 years ago, one of my first switches was when somebody said, you know, you really want to shop the perimeter of your store and you want to be looking to buy foods that your grandmother could have purchased when she was your age. And if she didn't know about that food, then it probably isn't food and you should avoid it. At the same time, I made another switch a few years later, which was when I looked at that nutritional label, I stopped thinking about the calories and the fat. Now that's what I was, when I grew up, I'm, you know, 44, I was, grew up in the eighties and that was a part of the low fat movement. I don't know, you know, how old you all are on the call. If anybody remembers um, snack wells, I mean, that was kind of the epitome of the low fat movement. They were cookies, but they were low fat. So you could eat tons of them. And I just concentrated on that little label, calories and fat. What I never stopped to do at that point in my life was look at the look at the ingredients. And so when I made my switch, when I started just really working on adding more whole foods to my diet, I started looking at that label and noting what kind of ingredients were there. And I wanted to make sure that I was buying products, food that had five or less ingredients and preferably ones all that I could pronounce. You know, you all have seen the ingredients that are like seven syllables, which, you know, no food is seven syllables long. So those are things that I now try to avoid. So environmental toxins are increasing, food quality is decreasing. And because of that, we have Dr. David Katz, who is the head of prevention at Yale University. And he says this, this may be the first generation of children <clears throat> to have a shorter life expectancy than their parents. And since he said this several years ago, that actually is being proven true. And which is alarming. I think if you look around, you do see just probably in your own life, I know I do in mine, that there are children in my life now that have diseases that only old people used to get, right? So they have children that are on the last little bullet point here. We have children as young as eight that are being treated with cholesterol lowering statins. We have children that are facing type two diabetes. One in three children are obese. One in three children will develop diabetes. Um, and more than 25% of our children are taking prescription drugs on a regular basis. So this is, this is not a good thing for the generation coming behind. 
And if we look at our own selves, Dr. William Sears, who is a wonderful doctor, I don't know how many of you have heard of him. He's called <clears throat> St. Louis's or the world's pediatrician. He's written over 40 books. And I know for me and my journey with motherhood, I have read several of his books and really he's just been a, uh, a voice of peace speaking into my life. So he shares that one in three people live with some sort of cardiovascular disease. As adults, one in three women will have cancer. One in two men will have cancer. One in three diabetes, one in three is obese. 116 million are living with chronic pain. And our healthcare expenditures are approaching three trillion. And to put that in some sort of context for you, if our healthcare system was an economy, it would be the sixth largest economy in the world. So that should say something. I mean, we are just spending so much money on healthcare and pharmaceuticals. I mean, it's the sixth largest economy in the world, which is crazy. Um, the reason though that we are here is because of the very last thing that he says. And this is where we can have hope. We're not gonna spend you know, tons of time on the negative, but where we can have hope is that 75% of all chronic disease is preventable. And that is awesome news for us here today. We don't have to just wait to develop some sort of disease. We can actually take the bull by the horns, so to speak, and we can do something today to help prevent that. So I wanna talk and do a little lesson here, if you will, on what oxidative stress is. Um, oxidative stress <clears throat> is linked to poor health. And I don't know about you, but I heard that term th thrown around many, many times before I actually understood what it was. So simply put, oxidative stress is the aging that happens to our body, both inside and outside. So outside, you're gonna see that as far as you know, wrinkles go, brown spots on your skin, skin sagging. Inside, it's a little harder to see, but we have the same sort of thing happening on the inside of our body as we do on the outside. So each, as it says here, in each human cell, the DNA is hit about 10,000 times a day by mutagenic oxidants. So our cells are being bombarded by all of those toxins and that causes oxidative stress. Now, oxidative stress is also caused just by living. I mean, we as humans just have oxidative stress. You have it by breathing. It can be brought on by good and bad. So some good things that cause oxidative stress are exercise causes more oxidative stress to our body. Pregnancy causes more oxidative stress to our body. Some bad things, right, would be smoking. It would be drinking. It would be stress. All of those things come at us, <clears throat> and some of that is just simply by living. We can make good choices. We can make poor choices, but we're all going to have oxidative stress. As you can see with the apple, and this is a good analogy of what happens, as soon as that apple is cut, it starts to brown. And I don't know about you, but when I was a girl and I was helping my mom to make a fruit salad to bring somewhere, she would always say, well, get out the lemon juice and go ahead and sprinkle that on there. And I did that without knowing why I was doing it or even why that happened. But as I've learned and grown, I understand that the browning process was stopped on the apple because the lemon juice is an antioxidant. And if that isn't just a great real life example of truly how antioxidants help stop aging, then I don't know what is. And that is the same thing that happens in our own body. When we have and give our body antioxidants, we can slow down and negate this oxidative stress and this aging process that is naturally going on every day. So we all, probably know where we find antioxidants. And if you don't, I'm here to tell you, you find them in fruits and vegetables, which as the media keeps telling us, fruits and vegetables are definitely finally getting their kind of, you know, they're seeing their heyday. People are finally talking about them and saying the more, the better, right? However, today's mass produced produce is packing a less nutritional punch. So we need seven to 13 fruits and vegetables every day but some of our varieties have lost, have lost their, their nutritional power. And there's a couple of reasons that that is happening. The first one is because of soil depletion. And I don't have long enough to go into that today, but it's a real thing. I just watched a seven part documentary series on it actually. And it is definitely something that we could turn around and back out of, but people because of just the desire to 
produce more and to make more money, people aren't necessarily interested in that. So we continue to produce produce in these mass produced ways, but that produce is not giving us what it used to. So part of that is because of the soil depletion. Um, as you can see here, this is a great way to illustrate that. In 1953, uh, this is a bowl of spinach, uh, and the iron content in that in 1953 will equal in 1997, and that was 20 years ago, um, you would have to eat 53 bowls of spinach to get the same amount of iron that you would back in 1953. So <clears throat> I have no idea what it is now. I don't think they probably could fit all of the bowls of spinach that you would need to eat there. And that's just iron, right? I mean, we know that our fruits and vegetables or the spinach has more than iron. So if iron is that depleted, how much more so would everything else be depleted as well? So we have soil depletion and then we have the other thing is that they are not the, the produce that we're eating now is not ripened on the vine. And I think if there's one thing, because I'm throwing a lot of things at you today, but if there's one thing <clears throat> that I want you to realize, because people will say, well, I eat fruits and vegetables. Okay, yes, but the type of fruits and vegetables that we are eating because of the soil, which I just talked to you about, but also because not hardly anything, unless you're growing it yourself or buying it at your farmer's market, is being ripened on a vine anymore. And I'd like you to kind of think about the fruit and vegetable being like the baby of the plant, if you will. And so just like if we are pregnant and we have a baby, if we have that baby premature, we all know that that baby is not going to be as strong or as healthy as if the baby had gotten to stay till full term. Most likely the baby's going to need some sort of intervention. It's going to be in the NICU. Now it will still look like a baby, albeit smaller. Your fruits and vegetables still look like fruits and vegetables. But I would challenge you or anybody probably to say that they all taste as good, right? We, we taste a vine ripened tomato out of a garden and we know that it is just, there's nothing like it. Part of that is because it has more nutrition. I think that the nutrition's coming into it at the very end. The last 24 to 48 hours is when 90% of the nutrition comes into a fruit or vegetable from that plant. And that's when it tastes the best too. They're all designed to go together. So the next time you taste a mealy tomato or a strawberry that just doesn't quite taste like you remember strawberries tasting, or how about a peach that isn't quite as sweet? Part of that, most of that is because it wasn't ripened on a vine. So that's the other reason that we are just seeing a lot of these statistics that I just mentioned from Dr. David Katz and Dr. David Sears. So here we have, um, now, if I was in person, I would be showing you that one apple here has over 20,000 phytonutrients in it, okay? So when I say phytonutrients, I mean vitamins and minerals and enzymes and antioxidants, over 20,000 in one apple. The way that we came up with in the 1950s to begin to bridge the gap of what we were seeing was happening. We were seeing people get sick. We were figuring that we weren't getting enough fruits and vegetables. So we came up with a multivitamin that happened back, I believe it was in 1958. They, the, the federal government came up with the, you know, the 12 to 15 essential vitamins and minerals. And so we thought, okay, there we go. We'll get these 15 essential vitamins and minerals and we should be all set but you and I could agree that we have not got healthier as a nation. We have, you know, vitamins have not been the answer that we thought they would be. And part of that is because of what you see on the screen right now. Look at all of these things. They all work in synergy together. And so that is something that we're seeing more and more. People are trying to take calcium, but calcium doesn't go to the right place in your body unless you have vitamin D and vitamin K and vitamin C at the right levels. Otherwise, calcium ends up calcifying your arteries, which is not what you want to do. What you're trying to do usually in taking calcium is build your bones. So what a whole food does is it works all together synergistically to allow your body to decide how it needs to use things. A great example of this is lycopene. So you may have heard about lycopene in the news as of the last 10 years. You know, lycopene helps, you know, helps uh, fight cancer, specifically prostate cancer, but once they isolate it, the lycopene, it didn't do anything. It didn't do anything in the Petri dish against cancer. Does it help prevent cancer? 
Yes, it does when it's inside of the tomato. But when it's taken out, like all of our isolated, uh, isolated vitamins and minerals, it loses its power. So this gives you just kind of an idea of the difference between the whole food and the multivitamin. So we know we need seven to 13 servings of fruits and vegetables per day. That used to be when I was a girl, it was five a day. Now it's seven to 13, but they're saying that it's going to be 20 to 30 in the near future because of the whole thing I showed earlier, the soil depletion and everything. Their new, their new motto, the government's new motto is just more matters. The more you can eat, the better, right? So enter this awesome product that myself and Jenny and Andy have found. I'm making one simple change with these 30 whole foods and just take a look at that variety. And those are all whole foods that we are taking every single day and flooding our body with this nutrition. So I wanna tell you <clears throat> a little bit, I'm gonna go back. I wanna tell you a little bit about how Juice Plus is the product we're talking about. Juice Plus got started. And it was started by a gentleman named Smokey Centio, who was a holistic doctor who um, 25 years ago was helping cancer patients to get better. And one of the ways he was doing that was by juicing. Now, 25 years ago, the alternative, the alternative world of how to treat cancer was not as popular as it is today. More and more people are seeing that there are other ways to treat disease than simply, you know, chemo and radiation and that sort of thing. And not that those aren't viable because they are, but there are other ways to take a look at fighting disease. And one of them is with our food. So Smokey Santillo was really ahead of his time because this was 25 years ago. His father came down with lymphoma and was given three weeks to live. His spleen was as large as a football. They ended up taking it out. By the time Dr. Santillo, who was on a tour speaking, got to his dad, he was so weak and he just said, dad, can I take you home and can I just try to do what I'm doing in my clinic. And his dad said, sure, three weeks to live. He couldn't even walk. He carried him out of the hospital. He got him to his office in Phoenix and he started trying to pump him full of nutrition. He was so weak <clears throat> that he started just rubbing olive oil on his skin, trying to get healthy fats into him. And he could barely eat, couldn't eat, so he could just drink. So he started giving him juices, but it wasn't really doing what he wanted to do. So he thought, well, how could I make the juice more powerful? I'm gonna put in the pits and the peels and the seeds and the rinds. And so he threw it all in like a big giant Vitamix, if you're familiar with that kind of blender, and just made a big slurry. And then he set it on pans all around his office and blew fans on them till it dehydrated. And all he had left were these plant the essence of the plant, these plant powders. And he started just giving his dad, just on his tongue, these plant powders. Well, Smokey's dad ended up recovering and he ended up living another six years. And not just six years of like being sick and going for chemo and this and that, but six quality years, he built a house, he, you know, and Smokey would say he'd still be alive today if he hadn't had his spleen out and just some other things beforehand. But he knew he was onto something. And so he took the product to Jay Martin who 25 years ago said, yes, this, I love this idea. And that's where Juice Plus was born. So I wanna share with you three things that make us unique. The first thing is um, that we have a food label on our back. So I don't know if you can see this or not, but this says a nutrition facts, not supplement facts. So that's a big deal. If you take supplements of any kind, if you wanna go to your cupboard and turn them around, you're gonna see on all of them, they're gonna say supplement. Juice Plus is not a supplement. I say that I eat my Juice Plus the same way that I eat an apple. I eat it every day because it is truly food. It has all of those phytonutrients inside of it um, that we just talked about, those 10,000 in one apple. Well, Juice Plus has 30 different fruits and vegetables and berries. It's all non-GMO, it's dairy-free, it's gluten-free. So that's the first thing that makes us unique. The other is that it's NSF certified. So if I also turn around my, my uh, container, I will see an NSF certification. There's only 1% of supplement companies that do this sort of certification because it's very expensive and it's very hard to keep. Juice Plus is one of those. It's a third party quality assurance that says that what we say is in there is in there and what we say and, and, and what you don't want in there is not. So the pesticides, the toxins, the herbicides, and I don't know if you're aware of that. With organic, 
Organic does not mean that they are not spraying your fruits and vegetables. What organic means is they're spraying it at a lesser amount. There's still over 200 chemicals that are approved to be sprayed and still be considered organic. NSF doesn't allow any of that. There is nothing sprayed. Juice Plus has their own farms. They are growing with an eye towards soil conservation, water conservation, and absolutely no spraying. They use all natural ways to deal with with pests, which I love. That was one of the things that impressed me most about this company. And the last thing that sets us apart is the clinical research. So we have over 35 published clinical studies, which is amazing. It is the most nutritional, the most researched nutritional product in the world with 38 and counting published research studies done at some, if you can see this, some of the most prestigious universities around the world. MD Anderson, <clears throat> um, MD Anderson, Georgetown, University of Florida. So these studies and the journals that they're in are barred, you know, they don't, they are second to none. Um, and let's see why this is not going. Okay, I wanna share with you just one study that I really love. This was in the Journal of American Cardiology, College of Cardiology. And this was done by a group of cardiologists out of the University of Maryland who knew that most heart attacks happen within four to six hours of eating a high fat meal. So they took three groups of people and they sent them to a fast food chain and had a typical breakfast. It was McDonald's breakfast. And after that, they measured their brachial arterial constriction. So how hard their bodies were working and constricting after that high fat meal. And what they found was they were all have constriction at around a 50% 50 level, <clears throat> anywhere between 40 to 50% constriction. What they did is divide them into three groups. They have the placebo group, and then the second group is on our red and green, our orchard and, our orchard and garden, fruits and veggies, and the third group was on our fruits and veggies and berries. They did nothing else for 28 days except take Juice Plus or nothing if you were in the placebo group. They brought them back 28 days later and they measured that same constriction after that high fat meal. And what you can see there is in that middle group that has the fruit and veggies or orchard and garden. After 28 days, they had a reduction in constriction down to 15%, a 68% reduction in constriction, which is amazing for doing nothing else. But I want you to take a look at the, on the far right of your screen that was on all three or what we call our trio. They had a 98% reduction in their constriction. They, they constricted basically not at all. They got down to like a two, one to 2% 2 constriction. And what I love about this study is that they did nothing else except flood their body with more of good things. And their body was able to take on the high fat meal and not be as stressed by it. So we also have, in addition to the capsules, we also have our Juice Plus Complete Shakes. And these are low glycemic, they're vegan and non-GMO, gluten and dairy free, it's a plant-based protein. It is the best fast food you can ever eat. I have at least one a day. I absolutely love them. I throw in some fruits and veggies and make a shake, or these also make a great pudding bowl, which I love as well. So these are really wonderful. And then finally, we have the last product we have is our Juice Plus Omegas. And we introduced these about a year and a half ago. People are trying to bridge a gap with fish oil many times, this is something else our body does not make, we do not make omegas. And so we need to get them from our food. A lot of times we think about fish being where we get omegas from, but fish actually don't have any omegas. Fish get omegas from the algae that they eat. And so Juice Plus decided to cut the fish out of the equation because fish unfortunately are also very toxic these days because of our oceans. And we went ahead and grew the algae in our own environment where we can control the growth process and obviously not exposed to any toxins at all. And then we went ahead and made it a wide spectrum omega. So not just omega-3, but also omegas 5, 6, 7, and 9, all from other plant oils. So seed buckthorn, um, raspberry seed oil, tomato seed oil. These are amazing. Um, they help in the gut. They help with your brain. They helped with my joints. I just absolutely love the omegas and they really, they're just beautiful. They're bright. I don't know if you can see them. They're just this beautiful orange, beautiful orange capsule. You can see that there. They're just beautiful. 
So I want to end here with there is nothing available anywhere else in the world with or without a prescription that has been clinically proven to do what Juice Plus does. That's by Dick, Dr. Richard Dubois, who is the head of infectious diseases in Atlanta and one of America's top docs. Um, so at this point, I would love to hand it off. Um, I don't know if Jenny is able to be heard. Maybe you can unmute her, Andy, and see if she can share. I apologize. Okay, so I have Jenny on speaker, and she is going to say her piece. So please let me know if you can hear this, Jenny. Or, um, yes, I can. I can hear you. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, um, we can. Go for it, Jenny. Okay, you guys, I am so sorry. My internet completely collapsed, and I know we only have a couple minutes left here. So just real quick, I wanted to say I am so happy you guys are all on, and it is definitely no accident you're here. I, you have been great for to show up today. And um, my biggest thing is I'm hoping that this info can really bless some people on this call today, um, how it has blessed us already. And me, I'm totally excited about this. And um, basically with Jocelyn, I started her on it too. And Jocelyn would pick up a lot of colds when I, you know, like it seemed like anything at the daycare or any people we were around, if they were stuffy or sick, she would kind of pick that up. Mm -hmm. And it, on the few weeks I've already had her mm -hmm. on it, we were at a home for one week with three kids that were coughing and sick and she did not get sick. So I was mm -hmm. super excited about that. And then also um, she has been going more regularly so eliminating <laughs> um which is if any of you guys know it, brain and gut health that you know a lot of our immune system is in our gut so i was super happy about that as well so that's what i wanted to make sure i had a chance to say to you guys but also what i'm really loving about juice plus is that it really simplifies it simplifies all the stuff I'm, i i pretty much am totally comfortable and happy with just my Juice Plus products, if you know what I mean, and not all the other stuff I felt like I had to attend to, so to speak. So anyway, I really appreciate all you guys jumping on. And um, is Andrea smiling right now? Because she's supposed to be my face smiling. She's supposed to be presenting me right now. Yes, she is. <laughs> she's she smiling? Is. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, you go ahead. And I would like Andrea, if she could, to say a couple things real quick about the her experience so so yeah thank you so much I got start I heard about juice plus for years I kind of snubbed the MLM thing and I regret that now because um, juice plus is just I've seen significant changes in my health and uh, after being educated uh, by my dear friend Julie um, I realized that I needed to get my whole family on so it was really my husband who I wanted to get on everything. So when I initially started, I started on the duos, mainly for prevention and optimal health type things like better hair, skin and nails, you know, and like more energy. And cause I didn't think I had any real major ailments or concerns. And after I went, I went to a juice plus event and um, heard a gal talking about how our berry blends got rid of our migraines. And so I was like, wait, what? Um, I, I've been breastfeeding for about seven years, <laughs> um, and I have dealt with debilitating migraines, the kind where you order Panera and let the kids watch TV all day while you're laying in bed. So I went home, I went ahead and I got the, I got the berries and the omegas, and since taking the berries, I have not had a headache or a migraine since. Um, and being on the omegas, I have seen the mom brain thing. I've gotten like disappear. I think that was the most devastating thing as a, when I, you know, had my baby and realized that oh, yeah. this mom brain thing was real and I was losing my retention and, it, you know, ability to focus. And since being on the omegas, I'm seeing that come back and I can attribute that to juice plus because the studies say that that's what it can help with. And I've seen it for myself. So I am just so grateful, so grateful that I had a dear friend educate me, to be honest, because um, it's been so awesome for our family. And I'm just so glad that Jenny's been able to share with you all and 
it can make the same changes in your own life. So thank you so much. You're welcome, Andy. Thank you so much for sharing. <clears throat> well, you guys, we don't want to keep you longer because I know we had a little technical difficulty. So we would love for you to do one of three things. You know, you can get with get with Jenny, and she'd love to share with you just how you get started doing this. Um, number two, we'd love if you're inspired to eat more fruits and vegetables, of course. We hope you'll do that. And number three, maybe you know somebody that you thought about, like, oh my gosh, my mom or my sister or cousin needs to know about this. Connect them to Jenny. We are all about helping other people to get healthy, to take healthy back. We really have a mission to do that. I love the company because it is about helping. So thank you so much. We appreciate your being here. And I'm just gonna, Jenny will follow up with each of you, but have a wonderful rest of your Easter weekend. Thank you. Yes, you are so welcome. All right, we'll, we'll see you. Thank you. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye.